All right, welcome back to Software Gore. As always, if you experience bugs with the YouTube app while watching this video, be sure to let me know about it. We'll start off with number 19. I love how customizable Android is. <laughs> Laughs in iOS. <laughs> Creates flame war in the comments section with the very first post. I have no idea what's happening here, but I used to have Android and um, I've been on iOS for a while. I have no strong feelings one way or the other, but that looks like a problem and maybe restarting your device will fix it for you. I wish you all the best, otherwise you're gonna need a new phone. Ah, yes, two of my most used apps. I don't know what those are, but I guess now you can laugh in Android because this is definitely an iOS thing. So there you go. The yin and yang have taken place. Balance has been restored. Now we're we're both even here. Is this the thing where on the new iOS 12, which I haven't updated to yet, you can track how much time you spend on applications and you can set limits so that it'll like shut you out if you spend too much time? I spend a lot of time on Twitter. I just, I don't know why I would do self-imposed limits though. That seems silly. I want to use my phone when I want to use it. I'm not going to lock myself out because then I might need to use it. And it'll be like, oh, sorry, you're over the time that you've allowed for yourself. I'll be like, I don't uh, let me tell me what to do. OK, Google Maps view of Teterboro Airport in New Jersey. Uh, you know, we got a few delays going on here. Um, uh, some planes seem to have overlapped each other. They're occupying the same place at the same time. The planes are in the same plane on the same plane. It's gonna take a little bit while to get this mess untangled. It, what happened here is they've introduced a new technology, it's teleportation, except they didn't clear out the teleportation receiving area before it started, and so things started appearing inside each other. It was a, it was a whole mess. The government didn't want you to know because it was highly classified, but Google, Google caught it all on their satellite. You do, I mean, you can find a lot of stuff that looks suspect on Google Maps satellite imagery because it is just a lot of images that are sometimes overlaid over each other and averages taken and stuff. I don't care. It's freaking impressive technology. The fact that I can get a three-dimensional view of any big city and as if I am in a helicopter over it, tilted down, angled, it's freaking impressive, all right? I don't know how they've done it. How can I do a 360 spin around you? How do you have that many images so as to recreate a three-dimensional view of a city? I ain't even, I ain't even mad about that. Petition to change the top to this. Software gore, undefined, 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 undefined. And then programming jokes below that I don't particularly understand. Um, wait, so it says software gore and comments right there, meaning I'm on the comments page, right? What does it say if we go back? Oh, it's all the normal stuff. But then you would, that would just be really user unfriendly. You wouldn't actually know where to go. There's gotta be a better way to do it. Maybe software gore, the word itself can be messed up, but don't wanna reduce usability. I believe my iPod requires two musical sacrifices. Man, I haven't seen one of these iPod nanos in quite some time. I remember when I was like super into the iPod nano when it first came out, like, oh my God. They made a thing that small, but still usable. And now iPods aren't even made anymore because it's all phones. Negative two songs. Also, charge your device. Why is it so uncharged? How did you let it get to this point? Maybe it was sitting for years and you were like, oh, I remember I had this iPod Nano. This could be valuable now. Now that they're no longer making them, this is like a technology artifact that people are gonna wanna collect down the road. And then, oh, it still has battery. Negative two songs though. iOS 12's level function is working great. Warning, not safe for work. Okay, so apparently there is an epilepsy warning. If you have that, be warned. All right, what, whoa. What is the level function? Is that your accelerometer? What the? Oh, oh, it's the, I see. The level is in trying to Right, if you're hanging a photo on a wall or something, a level. I was just thinking level function, like your volume level, what the sea level is. Sea level is always sea level, I suppose, so that was stupid. Your painting's just going all over the place at this point. Maybe you're in an earthquake or something like that. What the heck am I supposed to do, Grammarly? November 9th, 2018, and submitted to 
that remove the comma. Nope, we still have a problem here. It doesn't know what it wants to do. Thank you. I've learned to just never trust the spelling. I don't really have anything that I type in that does a grammar check at this point, but when it comes to spelling, swear to God, I get more false alarms for spelling than I do for actual misspellings. I type out a word, I'm like, it's underlining it. Did I miss, this is in Gmail most of the time. I go to Google and I type in the word and I spelled it correctly. And I'm like, Google, if you know how to spell it correctly in the search, why do you know how to spell it correctly when I'm in Gmail? And then it just, Ugh! And I have to leave it. But then I'm like, why is there a red line? It doesn't make any sense. Why do you think I misspelled the word that I didn't misspell? It's so frustrating. Mm, I get so annoyed. Glad I don't have to deal with grammar. Using software update on extreme difficulty. This is like the new meta for advertisements. <laughs> What's this? You wanna get rid of this advertisement that's blocking you from reading the article? Well, good luck. We're turning this into an extremely difficult game for you. Just try to click on the X. If you can get it, then you'll be able to access the entire site for free. Otherwise, good luck. We're gonna make it really difficult for you. This is like just the extreme version of, you know when you have an extension or something in your browser and you go to a site and you're about to click on whatever you're gonna click on but all the extensions haven't fully loaded. Right as you're clicking, the extension loads and it shifts the thing down the page as you're clicking and you click on something else. That's created such an awkward situation for me before where I was like on Twitter and I clicked and it shifted the page and I liked someone's tweet where I, where I was clicking instead of navigating to someone's username that I was trying to get to. And I was like, oh, now they just got a notification that I like their tweet. This is weird. They're gonna be wondering why I did that. And I have no, I'm not gonna go into a weird explanation. I'm just gonna hope they never noticed. This is fine. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes it gets a little cold inside. It's about that time of year. So you gotta warm up somehow. And it just so happens that this person found a way to toast their buns and not the other parts of their body. So they're getting just what they needed. Yay, I finally found Lugia. I think this is my favorite. Uh, hey there, Turner. You got any of those berries? I'll be looking around for them. I'm impressed if you actually ran into this because this is this is pretty brilliant. If only you could catch this. This is like a missing number, Lugia. You could take over a gym with a Lugia and it'll display like this. I want that to be an Easter egg. Technically correct. Your password. Field password does not match the pattern. A lot of, lot of different random characters. Sorry, your password actually has to be this if you'd like to access the website. Please copy paste this and put it in for your password and it'll be correct. Did you know that we assign everybody their own password for this website? Actually, everyone has the same password that we've assigned. So if you just type in a valid email address and copy paste the password, you'll have access to that account. Security is our priority. Oh no, my file existed. Warning file existed. <laughs> You're searching your computer. Oh man, has a virus ever existed on my computer? It has warning. Yes, the file has existed, but it's not there anymore. You're good. You're safe, but it did exist, but we've taken care of it for you. You no longer have this virus on your computer. We're warning you. Be more careful in the future. Ghost man only viewable with preview window. Okay, where do I need to find the ghost man somewhere on this page, but I don't know where the preview window is. Hmm. I'm at a loss. Yeah, that's a pretty good achievement I just earned. Level up from level two to level two. Top comment, when you get a promotion with no salary <laughs> increase. Here's some added responsibility. Great, you gonna pay me more? No, just added responsibility. Cool, thanks for that guys. That's what I was looking for. More work with no reward. Yay, level two to level two featuring nothing new here. I was thinking maybe you get like an added bullet hole in the shield. No, you still have the same bullet holes. So at least there's that. You're not getting shot anymore as I'm demonetized on this video, but you can get a poster now. Best Buy has great respect for other countries. Hello, choose a country. Canada, blank red flag. 
The United States, great. Mexico, blank green flag. You know what? This is obviously some holiday shopping, so they're trying to be in the spirit, and it's like, here you are in the US where Best Buy is HQ'd, and also you get some Christmas colors. Pretty cool, because most of you are from the US, so we'll just be losing out on a small portion of the people buying products, but the amount that we're gonna gain out of the US from our Christmas spirit is gonna be off the charts. It's gonna be great. Marketing 101, ATM glitch or sick hand dancing? Please enter your personal identification number. If you're unable to do it that quickly, then someone's gonna steal your card. This is a demonstration of how fast you should enter your PIN. If you're not there yet, try to practice some more before coming back and withdrawing some money. Otherwise, you're gonna lose money. Why can't ATMs just glitch out in a way where it spits out money at you? See, I want that kind of glitch. I don't care about this kind of glitch. I just want the thing to start showering money. What? Just disclaimer, I've never had that happen. I've never had the opportunity. And if it did happen to me, I would leave the money and I would tell someone in the bank. And then they'd probably like get mad or something and be like, did you break this? Were you trying to do this? And be like, no, I'm actually just trying to be nice and report a problem to save you guys money. So don't make me regret this. Miss, I think I need help with this one. Which one of these numbers is closest to math processing error? Hmm, there are two possible answers here and they both look the same. I don't know which one to choose. I have a 50-50 chance. I don't know which math processing error is the correct math processing error. This is an issue. <laughs> it's always the worst when the error appears on your homework because it's like, what are you gonna do about it? I guess in this day and age, you can just screenshot it and show your teacher and be like, yeah, I, I couldn't get this one. So can you just, can you not mark me off? Thanks, appreciate it. But I don't know the answer. And I, even with the, with the tech I used in seventh grade, there were some dumb glitches in the software that caused me to get answers wrong. Never had to use online software that from, from that point on. I bet it's back though. This crystal ball at a Harry Potter exhibit. Problem detected. Well, this breaks the fourth wall. This was at Disneyland. It wouldn't fly. Sorry, Disneyland is... I. I bet you've never, there's never been a software gore glitch from Disneyland on here. Look back through, well, maybe there has been somewhere in post history, but Disneyland, ooh, ooh, uh-uh. They'd be, they'd be on that in like two seconds. It's not allowed, or they'd like cover it with a blanket or something it, instantaneously. This wouldn't be allowed to fly. No one would be able to take pictures with this. It'd be like roped off, cordoned off. The coroner would be out here, caution tape medical examiner what happened to the crystal ball how did it r.i.p okay sorry i swear i'm not sponsored by disney but disney does a good job with disneyland and i've said that multiple times i just like disneyland okay anyway though but the harry potter world is pretty dope actually especially diagon alley over in universal i'm not gonna lie they did a good job with that they like they disneylanded it up with diagon alley a plus a plus guys except for the crystal ball it's just predicting that you're gonna have a problem in your future, uh, so beware. And the top of the last month, guys, I think I'm addicted to settings. Screen time, last seven days. Settings, 107 hours. Yeah, this is that new iOS 12 thing that, that we were talking about with the app limits and stuff. Dude, you're gonna have to put some restriction time on settings, okay? I think that you've got a problem and it needs to be adjusted. How many hours are in seven days? What would it be? I know how to do math. 160 something. I almost had to pull out my calculator to do this. So at least you haven't 24 seven been on settings, but it's close. You're spending most of your time doing it. In fairness, I, I think there are people who stream that much like a hundred and something hours in the last seven days, which I don't know how that's possible to do. It's pretty impressive though. And so just replace settings with OBS or Twitch. And I, I'd believe it. It wouldn't be software or it'd be a real thing. Um, I can't go for more than two hours. My voice just starts giving out. I don't know how people go for like 14, 15 hour days. Okay, well anyway, that's it for the last month of software gore. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully you haven't had software gore on the app yourself, but maybe you have. 
It always seems to happen. Um, and I get tweets from people being like, the YouTube video acted up here, check it out. While I was watching Software Gore. Isn't it ironic? Anyway, make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more of these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll get you next time.